name's Joseph Joestar, and I'm a foxy grandpa now. And you're my 17-year-old grandson, Jotaro Kujo. Sup? And I am Muhammad Abdul. I'm your granddad's special friend. I've come all the way to filthy Japan because my precious daughter told me you're in jail. My husband left me. Why are you in jail? Is it because you keep violently assaulting people? Or because you keep dining and dashing? Because you threaten your teachers with violence? Nah, it's because of the ghost. Hold up. That's not a ghost, that's a stand! Stop using modern day slang, granddad. No, not a stand. A stand! A manifestation of your spirit that stands with you! It's also permanently replacing Hamon. What's that? Season! Don't worry about it! So what does your stand do? Thorny vines! Also pictures. Cool, and you? Fire chicken. <laughs> and mine? Punch is real hard! This is bullshit, I'm going to school. My name is Kakyoin, and I'm all up in this nurse's vagina. You're pure evil. He's not actually evil! Dio planted a creature in his brain to control him! Who? What? How? I could not have been more clear. I'm better now. I also would like to get all up in your mother's vagina. Stop talking about my sick daughter's vagina! Wait, mommy's sick? Yes. Her stand has awakened, and it is now killing her. To save her, we must journey west to Egypt and defeat the great evil known as Dio. So let's get the hell out of Japan! Your dedication to your daughter is admirable. Yeah, I also really don't want to be noticed here. Joseph? Joseph, is that you? Move, move, move! <laughs> <sighs> Something wrong, Granddad? I've just had a bad history with planes. No more planes. Bonjour! I'm the comic relief! My name is Paul Nareff and I- Whoa, uh, we're dropping the terrible accents. Qua? But why? Because the other two parts took place in Europe, but now we're going through Asia, so... Ah, uh, no, I get it. Now, which one of you wants to job me? I'll do it. <laughs> ha! Le fuck you! <laughs> Thanks for pulling that thing out of my head. Do any of you have two right hands? Shit, we caused brain damage. No! A man with two right hands killed my sister. Oh, well, my granddad has two left feet. I can't dance for shit! All right, granddad. Do we have to worry about boats? Nah, nah, I've never had a problem on a boat before. So the boat exploded. But that doesn't mean all boats are out of the- So that boat was a monkey. I blame you, Jotaro. I think I like the ocean now. That will forever be a part of my character. Did we pick up an orphan? Aw, they skipped my shower scene. Good. Nobody wants to see your little orphan Fanny. Welcome to Singapore. All right. Let's find us some crazy rich agent. <laughs> hey, Jotaro. Can I have your cherry? No. Wh why not? Because I'm pretty sure that's how we get Jota Kujo. Congratulations, gentlemen. We've made it to India. I need to use a little stand user's room. Uh, give me your p uh, p uh, p uh, p uh, give me your p uh, p uh, p uh, p uh, I wanna eat shit. I can hold it. Hey, Paul the Ralph, you flat top fuck boy! Who's got two right hands and killed your stupid sister? This guy! And now, I've avenged my sister. I have no regrets. Avdol's dead. That cowboy shot him. Howdy. And it's basically your fault. Uh, oh. Can I at least say goodbye to- No, we buried the body. Shut up, let's go. Wait! Something's wrong with my forearm! Yeah, it got cut off. No, the other one, you little asshole! Hello, my baby! Hello, my honey! Hello, my ragtime gal! Two Looney Tunes jokes so close together feels kinda lazy. Not as lazy as pointing it out. <laughs> Shit, can a car be a stand? Pretty sure anything could be a stand. The sun could be a stand. Fuck you, Kakyoin. It's melting my hair gel! Welcome to my inn, and make yourself at home. You're an enemy stand user, right? What? How did you- The cowboy. Howdy! Fuck you. Well, that's neither rootin' nor tootin'. You killed my son! Sucks to suck. Guys, I just need to use the bathroom. It's literally been a week. I think I'm going to die. <laughs> Let's go, everyone. Wait, where's Kakyoin? Sup? I'm a baby stand user, and when you die in this dream, you die in real life! Elm Street rules him. What if I wake up before you kill me? Dumbass! When's the last time you remembered a dream for more than a few seconds after you woke up? And that's why I already wrote something on my arm for when I wake up! What the fuck does this- Hey guys! I found a genie! I will grant you any wish you desire! Ooh! Bring back Little Bush! That- Animated Comedy Central show about George Bush? Yes! I loved that show! But, but how would that even work today? He's not even the president anymore! Don't care one another season! Hey! I'm alive! 
You've brought my friend back to life? That's even better than Little Bush! Actually, we just lied to you. To your face. Wh why To prevent Dio from finding out I got us a submarine! Grandpa, remember the boats? Come on, Jotaro, this is nothing like a boat! It's under the water, not on top of it! So, it's a worse boat. Hold on a second, I'm getting a call from your grandma, Susie Q. What up, baby mama? Voicemail? A paternity test? Okay, well, I've never met this chick before in my life. I've never even been to Japan. Okay, this is ridiculous. I won't stand for this. I'm hanging up now. Not my fault Hamon destroys condoms. Ah, uh, finally got to use the bathroom. Hey, anyone mind if I open a window? <sighs> <sighs> Pull her up, you French fried fuck. Well, hey, look on the bright side. We finally made it to Egypt. You're right, which means we can finally meet the last member of our group. And then, we'll find Dio, and end this once and for- And you don't think having nine more stand users based off the Egyptian gods is a little much? I'm telling you, it'll kill. People love this shit. Help segment the fights, give them a theme. But we already did the whole tarot card thing. It seems like we should have done one or the other, now it just feels like we're dragging it out. Yeah, but it's Egypt, right? Gotta have an Egypt theme. Fine, fine, I'll leave it up to you. Oh, before you go, would you like some gay sex? Pardon? A little gay sex? Just a little bit. I don't quite, uh, swing that particular way. All right, no, no, that's cool, that's fine. Just putting it on the table, or on the bed, or on the backseat of my Chevy. Well, I... It's roomy. I appreciate the offer. Cool? Cool, cool, cool. So, like, how gay we talking? Hey, Nick! It's hot in me! You wanna go outside and watch the cherry blossoms bloom? Dude, we live in Dallas. The only thing that blooms out there are horrible allergy trees. <laughs> right. Man, Dallas blows. Mm -hmm. Don't worry, boys. Book Sue is bringing Hanabi to you. <gasps> Book Sue? Book Sue is a monthly subscription service that brings premium Japanese snacks directly from Japan to your doorstep. Featuring a new theme every month, you too can have a gourmet journey through Japan. Mm. This Sakura Boucher. Boucher is absolutely a you may come true. Super moist and just the right amount of sweetness. And these umekara spicy burdock chips when paired with the springtime golden green tea. Mm. Mm. It's like visiting a friend in Rapongi who just texted me. Ah, I can't read Japanese. Thank you, Boksu, for bringing us another wonderful box. We're huge fans of Japanese food and culture. Hey. And if you want to taste a pot of me for yourself, please click the link in the description and use the code TFS15 for $15 off your order. I can't get Encanto's soundtrack out of my head and it's killing me slowly. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah,